we playing today? We're playing Disney's Aladdin. I wanted you to play Jaws. We already did that last year. I've already suffered and I enough. Did Jaws. Do Jaws. No. <laughs> Do it. What? What more are you gonna get other than just me just confronting Bruce again? I've already had reactions that I already know what's coming, so it's gonna be the same shit, but with I little reaction. Hear screaming. You're not gonna get any fucking screaming because I know how the game functions. When the I hell I won't! You're gonna scream! You always do! <laughs> yes, Joss! And you lagged out there. So. I said, yes, Joss, for busy. Yeah. Well. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip that boring ass opening. That's one of the downsides of this uh, version of Aladdin. So there are two versions. There was one on the Genesis and there was one on the SNES. They're two completely different games, but they're the same title. They're both platformers, but one of them is more athletic based, which to me makes much more sense compared to the uh, the Genesis version where he was holding a fucking sword and shit. Enough dolling around. This game is uh, sh uh, relatively short, quick paced. Yeah, I just killed that fucking uh, guard right there. No. Okay, I wouldn't say kill, but y you get the point. Yee. I think he got the point, too, in his neck. That's why he's dead. <laughs> Pretty much. <coughs> Yoink, I'll take that roll of bread. Ooh, gems. Uh. Oh, fucking hell. Nice. Yeah. Who else is 1992? Whoa. What are you? That sounds like a fetus. That's a fetus state if I... I think so, too. Mm -hmm. And you all babies! Where are you, baby? You are tiny. You are small and weak. <laughs> You can I say should. I'm small and weak, but I'm also quick and athletic. <laughs> Meanwhile, you? I'm a fat ass in real life. No, I'm talking. Oh, I was about to say, and now you <laughs> are not. Golden's being mean to himself. Ignore him. I got a pot belly. I would say. Let make it fat. <laughs> I'll tell you this much. Um, last week, uh, Chrissy uh, took me to uh, Planet Fitness and they have uh, some training classes. One of which is a cardio workout. And I shit you not, when I was uh, in the middle of doing them, I already wore myself out after 30 minutes. Like, my legs were on fire for a couple of days. <laughs> that's that's not unusual. It just means that it worked. Oh, Love uh, the content. Keep having fun. The burn says it's working. Whoa, what yeah. the hell? Are you what, fucking what, what? kidding? Oh my god. Okay, so Dead Brony just donated a hundred dollars. Oh. So oh. wait, 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 hang on. I gotta take a look. Okay, so what was one of the uh the milestones? Oh fuck. Back to the <laughs> future on NES. Ah shit. Oh no. Ah, oh, that's gonna end in tears. Thank you for the donation. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> You in trouble now? No, I would be in trouble if, uh, like, if I was at the donation goal. Like, okay, I'll tell you this much. Uh, what at one point, um, one of the donation goals was gonna be uh, bending, uh, getting over it with Benefati, but unfortunately, I would have to uh, do a test run on that. And based on how the computer's acting, I don't know if it would work or not. But um, as as I'm bringing this up, I was purposely making this an unreachable state. Or a, an unreachable goal, like 700 or something. Like, nobody's going to donate $700. So, basically, it's just me saying, Ha, good luck trying to convince me to play that game. <laughs> so, instead, I have Dr. Jackal and Mr. Hyde on NES. And for the record, yes, I did stream that before, but it didn't go up on YouTube for personal reasons. Oh? Uh. Yeah, I'll explain it, like, after the stream is over. It's, it's a very simple reason, but it's very understandable once you hear it. You okay, fuck off. that's fair. Yeah. Oh, I think I might have an idea why, but mm, oh, yeah, 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 y
<clears throat> so yeah, at Fuck. some point I had to play Back to the Future. Fun. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. <laughs> oh, apparently whoever made that game. Okay, wait. It was published under LJN, so yeah, of course it's gonna be a fuck up. You know. It means that. Let's just not. Yeah, pretty much. No, just that that game that has that repeating music. It goes all do 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 do. If you've seen AVGN, you'd know what I'm talking about. Yeah, if I have. Ah, right. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Yay, I got a credit. Yay. Ah, oh, Genie. It's really hard thinking of you the same way after, uh... Yeah. Yeah. Rest in peace. Yeah, I know, right? Mm -hmm. Too... He left too soon. <sighs> it, it, I knew he had problems. He's... Like, I'm sure he went to rehab at one point, but it's not, unfortunately, it's not uncommon I hear with people in that field or line of work who are comedians. A lot of the time, they are suffering from mental issues, depression, yeah, and how they deal with it is through their work, through comedy, but even then, it doesn't fix the problem. <sighs> So, it's that, it's it's scary. What it was. It, it's scary because, it, pardon me for getting into a deep subject matter, is that <laughs> suicide happens when you least expect it. I mean, I know that there are those who um, who become supposedly suicidal, but when it comes to that, they would say it out loud, and like you never know if they if they really mean it or not. It just it comes when you least expect it. Well. Apparently, I mean, according to some who study the psychology of it all, I mean, I just looked it up. It's not always true, but a lot of the time, if someone is suicidal, they're not going to tell you. Yeah, because they, they don't they want to die and they don't want people to stop them. Yeah, because they know that if you tell them, they're going to try to stop you or if you try to yeah. hint them or they'll hint them at a time when uh, it's too late. And then there are those that Whoa, Jesus. want to commit suicide, but they know deep down that it's wrong and, and that they will tell them, hey, I'm not doing well. I mean, there are those too. I'm not, again, don't ask me to clarify. I am not an expert. I've It's just take I've, it with a grain of salt. Yeah, take it with a grain of salt. I'm no expert. I've, I've just read, I just read this stuff, you know? And I've heard, I've like heard from other people who, people who have experienced it but yeah that doesn't make me i'm no expert <laughs> but how about a cheer how about a more cheerful subject hey eat apples you fuckhead like that make the soldier <laughs> eat apples <laughs> no literally apples is your weapon in this game eat applesauce yeah not too long ago one of the guards ate my foot ew football guy, guy. Kinky. <laughs> Ooh, he just took an apple to the face. Here, have another one. Hey, an apple a day will keep a lot it away. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's evil. Okay, kind of a cliche question. What are your guys' favorite Disney movie? Oh, I gotta think about that. Let me think. I gotta think. Think, think, Big Hero 6. Think, think, think. Big Hero uh, 6, okay. Does it need to be a cartoon or live action or any? You know, that's a good question. Whenever I think of Disney movie, I immediately think of their Disney animated features. But <laughs> nowadays, like, Disney movies are pretty much just, like, a wide variety of... Come on, grab that. Whew, that was a close one. Um, they come in such a variety that some people will say, like, uh, like, Tron, or they'll say something like... Homeward Bound. I don't know. <laughs> you know, just at random. So, for the sake of argument, it can be any Disney movie. Or you could pretty much segregate them. Like, what's your favorite okay. live-action Disney movie? An animated Disney movie? Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to oh, go down. Oh, it's so hard to pick. Oh, no. Wish Upon a Star. <laughs> Eat my apple, Oh, bitch. you suck. 
What? Why do you do this to me? No! No, no, Solar said, what Disney movie made you cry? Um... Cry the hardest. <laughs> uh... It's hard. I don't know. SHUT UP! <laughs> SHUT UP, Brett! You shouldn't be laughing at that! Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! The only thing I imagine- Ear, eat my foot. The only thing I imagine is just a freaking hourglass just spinning on top of your head and you're just getting frustrated. <laughs> oh, okay. Ooh! Oh, wait. Disney movies! Disney, come on! Why am I blank in here? I guess there's quite a lot to choose from. I mean, you <sighs> could just say a couple of titles and then you can, like, narrow it down. Okay, um, Wreck-It Ralph was good. Um, Fuck Zootopia yeah. was good. Um, Great Mouse de Detective. Um, <laughs> um, I'm, I'm Lion King, obviously. B uh, Bambi. Sorry. <laughs> um, the Fox and the Hound, I thought was pretty good. Fox and the Hound made me cry, for sure. Oh, absolutely. Here, have another one. Hey, you get to make applesauce with that kind of sword. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, Inside Out made me ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, god. I remember when I was in the theater with uh, me, Keyframe, Thespio, and uh, Abby Rohde. And Sweetie yeah. Bloom, and I'm just like, I look over, and I got a tear shed out. That's be always just like, oh. I'm, I'm just dying. <laughs> no, uh, th 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 that scene where the imaginary friend sends uh, Joy up from the uh, the forgotten pit. Oh, why? I know, right? Oh. Okay, how about the live action ones? Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, easy. Which one? Very easy. The first three? Curse of the Black Pearl. Yeah. Black Pearl for sure, yeah. yeah. Mm, how about. Bad Knobs and Broomsticks. I still have yet to see that movie. Shame! Hey, at least I saw the Mary Poppins. Okay, you're off the hook. Um... <laughs> How can you not like Mary Poppins? <laughs> the live action Mary Poppins was really good. Mm -hmm. Well, of course it's live action. What? Is there an animated Mary Poppins? Is there? I mean, I just say live action because now all the fucking Disney movies are live action, so. <laughs> mm. What else for some live action? I, I mean, I, I love this movie, but I feel bad for loving it. What? Um, and that was uh, Swiss Family Robinson. Swiss Family Robinson? Yeah, it was a live-action Disney movie. Pretty old, like Bed Knobs Room 6 old. But here's... See, I love the movie because it had pirates and exotic animals and a family living on an island trying to survive. Here is the problem with it, though. Uh, so... Back then, there weren't animal rights. So, um... What you saw in the movie actually did happen. Oh, God. I can already tell how south that's going. So, yeah, there's a specific scene, and it's very... It's extremely terrifying when I, when I realize. But as a kid, I thought, oh, that was so cool. So epic. And then you realize, oh, that really happened. Um, which is horrible for the animals specifically i have to point out so there is a scene where a the boy the youngest son of the family is trying to capture a baby elephant uh-huh wants to keep it as a pet you know i get it um the boy encounters a tiger in the jungle oh and the family happened to have two great danes with them the great danes come to the boy's aid and attack the tiger that was real. Those dogs attacked that tiger, and it was, I mean, terrible to watch. I mean, thrilling to watch, but then you realize, no, this tiger's actually getting hurt, and these dogs are being put at risk. Holy crap. You know, 
that doesn't sound too surprising because in old Yeller, um, yeah. Yeller was taken on um, a freaking bear, uh, a wolf, which eventually got him uh, rabies. Like I'm pretty sure the rabies wasn't real when filming. Uh, that that would be suicidal to you know film something like that. But I'm gonna do some research on that. Give me a uh, minute. Ah fuck. I'm a. Fr I, I think I walked myself into a pit of what the fuck, didn't I? Old Yeller. A pit of what the Old fucker. Yeller is a dog that adopted by a poor family when the family is. Well, obviously you're reading the plot summary. Yeah, I'm just checking something real quick. Ray B's then and now. Da -da -da. If you're like me, I've probably seen the. Da -da -da. Yeah. Let's see if the bats respond here. Yes, they do. Okay. And yoink! I'm gonna take that. Whoa! No! Uh, Alright. That's not. Backtrack. You're lagging out a bit. Sorry. Okay, uh, I can hear you now. No! Oh, god damn it! Whoa, Jesus. Don't fall in the water. For some reason, Aladdin can't swim in this scene. Uh, that's not it. Search. Ha, okay. Checking, checking. There's the plot. Adaptation, reception, and legacy. Oh, yes, the legacy of the traumatized kids even more than Bambi. <laughs> right? Uh, tell me I'm wrong. Ten things you didn't know about Old Yeller. Let's oh, see. boy. The real Old Yeller wasn't a monogirl. What? In the movie, the real Golden Lab was... I got sneeze. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Shut up. I didn't in say anything. No, not you. Solar. Oh. Ugh, I called her cute. In the movie, a real Golden Lab was used, but in the book, the dog was described as a black mouth cur, which is similar but less bulky. All right. The movie was filmed in California, of course. The dog's name was Spike. This movie was featured in a double bill in a lot of theaters. Only two of the actors from the credited cast are still alive. This was a Disney debut of Tommy Kirk. And Kevin. The, the wolf was actually a German Shepherd. Okay. Oh, well, that's good. Sweet. You can hear the same growling sounds made by Old Yeller and Lady and the Tramp. Oh. Okay. You know what? That doesn't that sound has... too far off. Go ahead. Old Yeller's death has had a profound effect on a lot of people. Well, no shit. <laughs> uh, in an episode of Friends, Phobia states that she never got to see the part where Old Yeller died. It was a hard thing to watch, Consider man. yourself lucky if you haven't seen it. Mm. Yeah, I unfortunately did see it, and yes, I cried. Holy shit. I saw it in my college years, so I didn't get that much of an impact, but I could still feel the Jesus Christ like oh god it's the te yeah, yeah. it's pretty much a textbook definition of emotionally painful I probably would have been I probably would have been more traumatized than fucking Bambi yeah you probably would have because I still luckily Go ahead. I think I was I was just gonna say I think I was lucky I was slightly old enough to have caught the glimpses like I haven't seen the whole movie you know you I've, know like, movie yeah part. like like, there are movies that I never saw as a kid, but I know that if I did see them as kids, uh, as a child, I would have such a hard time processing it. Like, I still remember when I was, like, I don't know, I think I was maybe a year or two years old. Like, because I, cause I have somewhat of a memory of that based on how much of an impression I had. And that was uh, Bambi's mom during, uh, well, obviously Bambi. So I still remember, you know, you hear the flock of seagulls coming in. You hear the intense music building, and that's like Jaws. And then you hear the mother saying, Bambi, quick, we'll make it! 
and you hear gunshots, you hear music intensify, you get this very uncomfortable sense of atmosphere. When that was happening, I was just like, I was starting to panic and I was running around the room until eventually I like, the music was intense and I just like, I panically um, hid under a pile of pillows under a couch. And I was screaming when I heard the gunshot. <laughs> Yeah. I, I don't think I need to say anything further past that. I was yeah. easily I was easily scared when I was a kid. So when I saw that I was like ah! So Um if I saw old Yeller being uh put down I don't even know what I would process. <laughs> um Well Aside from that scene, there's only one other scene that will get me bawling for several minutes, and that's when uh, that's in the never ending story, Artex. No! <laughs> damn it! I killed Aladdin. Not Artex. Artex. I never understood why he was so depressed. It was just, he was sinking. The only thing that would ever make the scene intense was the music. It was very depressing. Like, it's in a very serious tone, and it just, like, it fades. God damn, why? I get made me fall in the lava son of a <laughs> i had to touch a fireball just to get that red gem great job yeah. um fucking wait hell. what were you wait we... what were you saying um I, I i lost my train of thought when i was in the middle yeah, of yeah and i was listening intently and then I, eh, I forgot what you were talking about hang on i i'm still trying to remember I'm trying to okay fucking hell i keep I keep putting myself in really, really bad situations. I'm better than this. Ah! Oh, okay. Now I remember. It just clicked. Um, you were asking. You didn't get why he became depressed. Oh, right. Uh, Artax from um. No, damn it. From the I Never think, Ending Story. Yeah, I think what happened was um. Well, they were Jedi. You piece of shit. Mm. <laughs> wow, you're actually garbage. Oh, get out. Oh, you're disgusting. You're not a Jedi, you're a Sith. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, Bliss. I was saying. I can only imagine that um, Atreyu and Artax have been traveling through the swamps of sadness for several hours. And they have been up and down everywhere and unable to find a cure, and so their last hope was- This was their last hope! And that was to find Mola. Or, 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 yeah, Mola. Morla. I think it's Morla. Um. And this was their, their last chance. I, I can imagine losing faith, though, after a while, because you've been up and down all over your world, and now this is your last chance to find the Ancient One to tell you what the cure is, and you have to find them in this god-awful thick swamp, and I would be depressed, too. Okay, fair enough. Oh, God, but I'm getting mental images of you sinking in the swamp now. Oh, oh no, fuck! Not me. Not me sticking into the swamp, no. Mainly because she's not tall enough to pull herself out. Oh, God. Nobody <laughs> oh, let that happen to me. Y'all <sighs> wouldn't. Y'all would be yelling at me to get it together and don't sink. Y'all wouldn't let me drown. No, yeah. we wouldn't let you drown, but we'd also have much less time to pull you out because after about three <laughs> seconds, you all, all the way. Everybody you else took a good five minutes, not Screw you! Wow, Solar! Are you hearing this shit? Good God! <laughs> no, here's Screw what that, happened. Ness! I pulled Bliss's ass out. I would actually, like, pull her up and then just give her a good smack saying snap out of it. No, but after that, everybody's gonna be like, you're not walking in the swamp on your own anymore. Because I bet the first time when I entered the swamp, it's like, I can walk through it by myself. I do not need to be carried. And oh, shit, I start to sink. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, after you guys get me from being depressed. Hello, Earth to Alicorn, out. you can fucking fly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can't fly forever. Dipshit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What are you wings made out of fucking toothpicks and hope? Are your wings made out of fucking toothpicks? What are your excuse, Solar? My excuse is uh, I don't fucking land, so blow me. <laughs> you don't fucking land. You're a Pegasus.